Hey everybody, it's your girl Chrissy T. Um, last night, something really kind of tragic happened. It didn't happen to me or Freak. It actually happened to a very close friend of mine. Um, he's like, you could say he's kind of like a brother to me now. Well, him, his girlfriend, and her daughter, which her daughter, the one that was with them, is only 10 years old. They got into a car wreck. From what I know, his girlfriend was in the driver's seat. My friend, he was in the passenger, and the little girl was in the back seat. I'm guessing behind him. So, from what I've heard, they were going the way they were going. And someone came straight in and hit the driver's side pretty hard. And the little girl, she was fine perfectly all right she was taken to her dad's house by her grandparents um her mom is got some bruising and everything but they had to get her out with the jaws of life because the side of the car was so crushed in um my friend on the other hand he they're him and his girlfriend are still in the hospital. Um, he's kind of... At first when he called me to let me know what was going on, he said that um, he didn't have no movement from his waist on down. I was like, oh my God, please help this couple you know please help these people you know I don't get overly religious on my channel at all I promise you I don't do this but I feel like I need to say this um because you know with the economy the way it is not many people have like car insurance and stuff like that they didn't have it. And that really, you know, they weren't at fault in this so, because of the way the wreck happened. So, right now, my friend, he's, um, he, I just messaged him today and he told me, I asked him if he had any movement from the waist down. He has a little bit. So that is very, very promising. There may not be nothing ser uh, really seriously wrong. We don't know just yet. Because last night before I went to bed, I went to try and get some sleep. I didn't get much sleep. He, um, he told me that he heard the um, doctors talking that depending on how the, his x-rays, his CT scans and all that come back, he may need back surgery. That's what he heard. He overheard. So, I'm asking all my subscribers, whether religious or not, if you don't mind keeping my friend, his girlfriend, and the little mama, which that's what I call their daughter, the young, uh, his, uh, her daughter, which is the youngest of her two daughters. In y'all prayers and positive thoughts, okay? I don't really ask much of y'all, you know, except to like, subscribe, and share my content and everything. But this time, I feel like right now, what they need is the positivity the prayers and the positive thoughts of course you know I just want everything for them to get better 
because I know his girlfriend was not drunk or anything. You know, they were probably getting ready to... They were actually bringing a little mama to her dad. That's how it happened, so... I'm sorry, I'm getting the story all, you know, discombobulated and everything. But when I found this out, I was in a state of shock. So, you know, it's what it is. Just please, please, please keep them in your positive thoughts and your prayers. Please, please, please. This, besides liking and subscribing and commenting on everything and sharing all this with the world to see, you know. But this is, this is life. This happens, you know. We cannot expect, you know, things to go perfect all the time. Believe you me. That's a certainty. But sometimes when certain things go good for, like, one person, something bad can happen to something else, and it, we don't even realize it. So... I will reiterate it again. Please keep these people in your thoughts and prayers. Please, please, please. Um, the more positivity we could get in this world, the better off it'll be. So, everybody, stay a safe distance apart from each other. Wear a mask if you're going out, you know. Don't go out unless you necessarily have to. That's all I ask. You know, I'm doing sewing projects and everything from home. And if I don't have to go out, I stay home. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it for me. Because today I have one project... Well, actually, I have, like, a couple of projects left to finish. But one of them, I'm, all I need to do is sew it up and get it ready to go out. Because this is part of what I showed y'all right here, this little piece, is actually part of an order. It's actually a free gift going with my order for, um, because I had an order for masks. So, I'm doing a little freebie for them. Since they live in the South, and the South is, like, freaking, like, coronavirus cities, you know? And I don't mean for, I don't, you know, with the virus going around, it's like, ah, But it, it just happens. And we're blaming... The politicians and everything for it. Let me say it like this. Viruses, bacteria, and everything do not discriminate. They don't care if you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. Germs don't discriminate. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are or anything. But you have to be careful with your elderly. Because the elderly are the ones that really, really need the protection the most. So, please, everyone, do your best to keep everyone safe during this pandemic. Okay? So, that's all the time I have for this freaking vlog. I hope to see y'all guys watching my next video. Okay? Bye.